everyone. Welcome. Happy Thursday. I am Elisa Kovach, owner of Alexandria Makers Market. And tonight I am bringing just an amazing husband wife duo for you to get to know a little bit more about. I would like to welcome Terrell and Natasha of Honey Cakes. And I'm so excited to let you guys know about their cheesecakes in a jar. Welcome, you guys. How are you? Are we good? How good. about yourself? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, thank you for having us. Of course, you guys, I have to give <laughs> a little backstory about how I found out about Honey Cakes. I was at the Carlisle Holiday Pop-Up Market and you're walking by the tent and all I see is a big sign that said spiked cheesecake in a jar, right? Like hook. <laughs> and so I, <laughs> I immediately had to stop. And my first question, I think to Natasha, I think you were the one working. I said, um, are you based in Alexandria by any chance? <laughs> I was so excited to find out that you were because I love to bring makers from all around the city together. And so I was just really excited that you were local. And prior to the show, we were talking and we are like super local. We're neighbors almost right across the street from one another. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love about this city. Um, so that is how I found out about Honey Cakes to begin with. But you guys have been around for quite a while. So I wondered if maybe you guys would just do an intro and let us get to know each of you a little bit. Maybe not... Um, even about honey cakes. What do you guys like love to do? Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Okay, well, my name's Terrell Johnson. And I'm Natasha Johnson. Yeah, we're Honey Cakes Desserts. I'm from, um, I grew up in uh, Virginia in um, the 757 uh, Newport News area. And, and I grew up in Connecticut, so New England, um, New England girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I've been cooking, um, Basically, most of my life, um, I grew up with my grandparents and uh, my grandfather. He was the the uh, chef in our our house. So um, yeah, um, engineering um, degree by uh, trade, but cooking is a passion. And for well, me, I grew up in a I'm sorry, to large uh, family. <laughs> grew up in a large family. Um, I'm actually the youngest. Of nine, so I used to help my mom a lot. Um, my mom's actually a big um, bread maker, and she liked making bread and baking. So, oh, so this is kind of a passion for both of you. This is oh, this works <laughs> well. That's well, amazing. Yeah. Yes. When at what point? Well, first of all, how did you two meet, and how what brought you here to Alexandria? Well, um, so I went to grad school at University of Maryland. And um, was part of I was part of this um, like fellowship uh, program that um, links different grad students from different schools in the area, from like John Hopkins University of Baltimore uh, College Park, and this had them you know do like social activities, hang out together, navigate through the school. And I met her sister um, through that, and. Yeah, she saw me. She said I was so handsome. She liked my glasses, and here we are. <laughs> yeah, I, I attended mean... one of the events. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. How long have you guys been together and married? So we've been together eight years, um, engaged for about a year and a half, married for going on two years. That's amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> and not only oh, that, thank you. You've, I think that Honey Cakes has kind of spanned that time frame with you guys through your engagement. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Oh, so that's, I mean, launching a business and planning a wedding, that's no joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. The cool thing about Honey Cakes is um, actually Terrell calls me Honey Cakes. So the name came <laughs> from him calling me Honey Cakes. Oh my goodness. It had a nice That's little amazing. ring to it. <laughs> you guys, that is adorable. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Um, so you guys, I'm going to, so we're seeing some pictures here. That's you at a pop-up, Natasha. 
And so Terrell, mm -hmm. tell us about that. Where are you serving? This looks a little more official. Um, That was at a Black History event last year, right? Yeah, around this time last around year. Around this time last year in DC. Um, handing out samples, you know, surprising the the people there. That's, That's an old, old picture out. when we first started. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we've been around since 2016, and we had our uh, you know trial by fire, just iterations, trying this combination, trying this label, trying this packaging, and uh, yeah, it's been a journey. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> so I I do have to ask, how did you land on a jar? Because it's novel to me, at least. You know, I think that's great packaging. <laughs> But what brought you to that endpoint? Um, so we wanted a product that will allow you to like indulge in um, your sweet tooth cravings, but without feeling guilty. So what typically happens is like you have a nine inch cheesecake in the refrigerator. That nice that knife get a little bit heavy. <laughs> yeah, um, you tend to eat a little bit too much. So we wanted something that um, was basically portion control, helps you indulge without feeling too guilty about, you know, going a little overboard. Oh, my goodness. So just satisfy well, that sweet too. It definitely does. And I, I, I mean, it really just, the whole package just really catches the eye. So you said you launched in 2016. What, what were you doing kind of in those beginning days? And really, did you start with just cheesecake or were you baking other items? And I know your grandfather was a lot of the inspiration behind this. So just give me like, what was the mindset back in 2015, 2016 when you guys okay, were getting so, started? Oh, so, um, so we make our um, cheesecakes in a jar. We donate a portion to mental health research, advocacy and support. So I grew up with my grandparents, but my mom, she was around, but she suffers from mental illness. She suffers from uh, schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. So um, cheesecakes was one of the things that she really liked. So we wanted to create, in the company, we wanted to create a product where we could like um, donate a part of the proceeds to help people that suffer from mental illness, help them heal at home instead of in institutions. So we donate a portion to um, Brain and Behavior Research Foundation and another portion to uh, NAMI, National Alliance of Mental Illness. The goal is to donate in total at least a million dollars. So that's really Whoa. what's the start. That, that's a huge goal. And Terrell, I think that <laughs> speaks a lot to who you are um, because first of all, you've named this company after your wife. It's been inspired in part by your mother. That just tells me a lot about you, that you're a family man um, and really mm -hmm. a rooted kind of guy. Natasha, you said that you like yeah. had bankers in your family and you know, you come from a big family. I'm sure mm -hmm. that you've had some influence there along the way. What what are some of the aspects? Were you all on board? Were you all in when he said, let's do cheesecake? Yes, well, um, cheesecake happens to be like one of, I have a few desserts I love, but cheesecake is definitely one of the top desserts. And also um, we, Terrell and I used to go to a lot of happy hours and hang out with friends. And I was like, how about we kind of like infuse or merge the two ideas together? So it was almost like, essentially like a little happy hour in a jar. Um, so I was definitely all on board um, with the dessert and helping him with um, looking at different markets and looking at different events that we could be part of. So it's been a fun ride. That That is critical. <laughs> so I know that, <laughs> that is an important part of behind the scenes. Um, I also need to ask, I love, I'm going to call it a uniform for lack <laughs> of a better word, um, but it's so sharp. So tell me about the inspiration behind that. Oh, oh these old things. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I guess you could call me a bow tie enthusiast. I have a lot of bow ties. Uh, a, 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 uh, a, worrying, a worrying amount of uh, bow ties. But I just really like the look um, and the color scheme. Um, I forgot that these were Pittsburgh Steeler colors. Hey. <laughs> Wasn't the plan. Somebody pointed it out to me at one of the farms. 
at one of the farmers markets. But um, no, uh, the color scheme it just it just flows well and it's easily identifiable mm-hmm. and it's memorable. So that Very that's the goal. I love it. Yeah, and we I just think- wanted something really clean. Yeah. It is. It's such a classic look. Are your mm-hmm. bow ties wooden? I have to ask. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's so fancy. Um, no, it is such a good just look for both of you. And um, it just screams dessert. It reminds me of kind of the old soda shops and things like that. So I, it's just you've branded yourself very, very well. Well done. Um, Thank you. So Thank you. I have a couple questions that people are posting. And if you are watching at home and you have a question, type that in the comments because I can see that. So the first question is, how long do these jars last, I, like a shelf life? Mm-hmm. Uh, shelf life is five to seven days once it's thawed. Um, so we normally sell them frozen at the mm-hmm. markets or even when we ship it out. So frozen for a few months, but once you thaw it in the fridge, five to seven days to consume. Yeah, just keep on refrigerated. It really, like, once you open it, you're just having the whole thing. I'm just <laughs> speaking from experience. I'm speaking from <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> good to know. Five to seven days, that is good to know. Um, and another question that, oh, so another question that just came in is where, what's the best place to find you in terms of if somebody wanted to purchase? Um, online is best. Um, if you're in the area, we can ship it to you within a day. Um, but um, you can follow us on Instagram. We'll be doing a couple of um, pop-ups and uh, farmer's markets throughout the summer and uh, um, fall. Yep. Um, throughout the DMV area, so Alexandria, Lorton, um, DC, mm-hmm. even Maryland. And that, yeah, and, even Maryland sometimes. I will piggyback on that. You know, the it's hard as makers right now to do pop ups and things like that because we still can't do large crowds. And mm-hmm. so, really checking out the websites and seeing what options are available to shop online for honey cakes and for all the makers that are local to the city, um, it's really important mm-hmm. because that's one of the only ways that we can kind of continue in business right now. So um, go check out their website. I actually just saw somebody post that um, everything looks delicious on your website. So I know people are checking it out. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Look at how much fun. <laughs> now. Terrell, you said you have an engineering background. Do either of you have an official restaurant or food industry history at all? Um, yeah, I worked at McDonald's and I worked at uh, Domino's before. So I have been in the food industry. Sure. But uh, not necessarily a restaurant or like, uh, like a food manufacturing experience. So actually, we got started back in 2016 through um, a, a, a kitchen incubator called Frontier Kitchen, where they teach us the ropes how to. This is it's in um it's located in uh, Lorton. Um, but yeah, they teach you like the basics of like kitchen etiquette and um, the different things that you have to um, understand to like really run it and get started in the um, food industry. Well, that's that's amazing. So I think you did have enough pieces there. This wasn't a total dive off the deep end into something. That, so um, Gwen is asking if you guys have ever thought about opening a bakery here, maybe at a later date, maybe post pandemic. Um, possibly, mm-hmm. but we're more of a food manufacturer. So the goal is to get into more stores, mm-hmm. but we also do uh, custom orders as well. Oh, I think <laughs> your messages might blow up when you say that you'll do custom. <laughs> That's, um, and we have some folks suggesting you go on Shark Tank, which I also think is maybe not the worst idea. I mean, it's really, really a great idea. Um, you guys, keep these comments coming because I really are loving them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to you, though, about some of your plans kind of in these next few months because it's just mm-hmm. still such a weird time with COVID. Um, what are some of the things that you've had to do 
in over the last year to kind of deal with this pandemic from a business standpoint or from like a safety standpoint? Um, so we had to do a little bit um, more um, marketing like online because we're relying on like foot traffic to get to meet us, get the sample and then build a relationship from that. But um, during the pandemic, we had to like, um, like try to ship out different like postage cards, like so to get the word so out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we also had to focus on like narrowing down our products that we offer. Cause when we first started, we were offering a lot of different flavors. So we did a lot of research and looking at what are the best sellers, what is the audience and what our customers like. So we honed in more on flavors that we um, would sell more frequently. So we just had more of a niche product that we would offer to our customers. I think that's really savvy um, and and essential right now, to be mm -hmm. quite frank. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing just your, your refrigerator, just you open it up and it's just all cheesecake. <laughs> And I don't know, I don't want you to tell me if it's true or not, but that's just what I'm going to picture in my mind. <laughs> right? And then like, okay, I'm just going to, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. That was just the vision that I went through my head as you were like, okay, we were really doing all this research. Um, so you've shifted, you've narrowed down a little bit. Have you noticed mm -hmm. um, other restrictions, I guess, just from the food industry standpoint. And do you have anything that, you know, that we could be doing to support you guys to be supporting other kind of makers in this genre? Any, any tips, any tricks, recommendations? <laughs> um, well, one of the things that we implemented like, uh, this year was to, um, try different things to like improve engagement. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we have is, uh, <laughs> we have a voting system at our booth where once you try a sample, you get a, a pebble and you get the vote, you know, is honey cakes desserts the best uh, spiked cheesecake in a jar in the DMV, you know, and get, let the people speak uh -huh. and uh, that gets the people, if the sign doesn't get the people's attention, then at least this does. And, you know, they have a chuckle and then that's the that, uh, conversation starter. Um, what's this? I'm sorry. What was the second part of your question? You know what? I forgot. It's, but <laughs> we'll, we'll put it back together. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Um, so here's my question. Are you mm -hmm. the best or are you the only? cheesecake in a jar in the DMV area. I think you're still we're the, the best. best. Yeah, <laughs> we're the best spike portion control cheesecakes in a jar in the DMV. Larry, I just didn't know if there was someone else out there <laughs> trying to do what you are doing. Uh, but no, okay, good. You are definitely the top. You're the best. Mm -hmm. But I was just curious if this was a thing that I hadn't been aware of, you know, one of these pandemic trends that everybody was trying so good good to know that i'm not behind the <laughs> curve <laughs> um one recommendation that i am seeing in the comments is that if so we have such a supportive um neighborhood and town and and facebook has really been essential for some of our local makers mm -hmm. and there is one of the facebook pages that the zebra set up was alexandra curbside dieting have you guys posted on there at all, and if you haven't, the recommendation is that you should go post it on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have not posted um, on there. No, but I don't. I we're don't on think we have. Alexandria Foodies. There's another Facebook oh. group, um, Alexandria Restaurant Foodies. Or gotcha. Yeah. We're... Well, mm -hmm. sorry. Go ahead. No, I think that all of Alexandria wants to hear about this. It, you know, you might see a little ups uptick in the business um <laughs> people are wondering if every flavor is spiked that you are currently carrying um no so um 
the amount of alcohol that's in each jar is less than half of a percent. So it's not enough to get you buzzed, but it's enough to make you feel special. <laughs> but uh, we also have uh, now non-alcoholic uh, cheesecakes as well. Like we carry a cherry flavor throughout the year and classic. Mm -hmm. And this summer we're going to bring out our uh, blueberry. Oh, I feel like that's so, going to yeah, be delicious. It's, it's plenty of... Yeah, so oh the gosh. cherry doesn't have any alcohol in the gel. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's Marilyn something like for everyone. Know, well, Marilyn would like to know if the pumpkin spice, it says seasonal, but it are we in season for pumpkin spice right now? Or when is that season? Um, Depending on the, uh, the, the height, you know, and the demand, we probably can extend it to the end of uh, February. Perfect timing. Okay, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Leave that up on the website at least for a few more days. Um, and there's another question about if you have tastings available and maybe you have a kitchen in Lorton. That's where you do your production or is mm -hmm. the, you know, can people come and visit you yeah, there? But the, is that an option? So it's a shared uh, facility. And because of COVID, like we're not having a lot of people, like a lot of traffic, just due to like the health restrictions. Sure. But um, um, yeah. But for like uh, tastings, you can catch us at one of the markets, um, and you can try a sample there, or um, you can uh, email email us at our website. And we can take it from there because we do like different um, events. Like uh, we do custom orders for like weddings and like um, thank you gifts and appreciation gifts. Mm -hmm. Birthdays, any special occasion. Yeah. Interesting. I feel like anybody that owns a larger business just perked up because <laughs> they know where to go for their next event. And it's, Actually, in the way that you package it, it is safe. It's not a shared large cake. So this is actually pandemic mm -hmm. approved. It's perfect. Well done, you guys. Um, mm -hmm. So I, um, as I mentioned, I saw these guys in December and it was just immediately like, I need to do something with these guys. I would like to collaborate mm -hmm. with them. And so maybe those of you who are watching know Alexander Maker's Market used to do pop-ups. That's not an option right now. So we've done a little pivot to curated gift boxes, seasonal subscription box. And one of the first that we launched with was Alexandria is for lovers because that's the time of year we are in. And I had to include two, of, two jars of their Bailey's chocolate mousse cheesecake. <laughs> it is divine. And that is not an exaggeration. That's the exact <laughs> description. And so you saw a picture of some of the other items, but it, you know, we've combined honey cakes with other local makers, Truly Life, we have the Fussy Goose and ADA Apparel, and it's just this nice little gift box, a date night in a box. So those pre-orders nice. cut off tomorrow. The reason we do pre-orders is because it is actually just a better time and product management for the makers. So I can give them the exact amount that they need to order. And then they're going to have a few days to make those, send them to me, I'll assemble the boxes, and then distribute them out into the world to share the love for Valentine's Day next weekend. If you want to really treat yourself, you can book a staycation at Hotel Indigo down in Old Town and add one of our boxes to your hotel stay. So like, how luxurious. Cheesecake in a jar, beautiful waterfront view from Hotel Indigo. I just, you know, so I'm just over here trying to make everybody's Valentine's Day weekend the best it can be, you guys. <laughs> so, um, and you guys, I just am so excited to see, you know, the more flavor offering, offerings. I'm just excited to try those, but also to see once things kind of write themselves and we are doing pop-ups and things like that. As you said, you're you're trying to get into the markets and things like that. I don't think you're gonna have any problem. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> is, the comments are blowing up. People are so excited about this. And um, I'm hearing, I'm seeing favorite flavors, Bailey's, cookies and cream. 
I have to ask <laughs> you guys this. What is your favorite flavor from the selection that you guys offer? Oh, okay. Well, I, I have two, but um, <laughs> Bailey's is my first, I would say, only because I love chocolate. I love Bailey's. So you can't go wrong when you put the two together, but Lemoncello followed by Lemoncello. I love them all the same. They're like my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Do not have a favorite. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Natasha, I'm going to agree with you. I am a Bailey's girl all the way, so that's why I chose mm -hmm. those for the box. I think that's a really classic combo. So they're delicious, you guys. Yes. Um, you guys, you need to go and follow them on social media at Love Honey Cakes. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the love in front. All right, which is still, mm -hmm. remember, I'm gonna bring it back. Remember, that's his nickname, you guys, for her. So it's so sweet <laughs> now that I know that backstory. Um, <laughs> um, it is amazing. I have another question if you guys are going on Shark Tank. I think the whole city is gonna rally behind you and we're gonna make sure that you get on that show. So I'm just letting you know what your future is. We've got this covered for you. <laughs> um, and so, at Love Honey Cakes is their social media. You can find them on their mm -hmm. website. All their info is right there in their bio, so it's great. You can also, I'm of course gonna be throwing them shout outs. So you can find them on our social media at Alexandria Makers Market. And, oh, thank you. Mary put them in the comments for me, so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And you guys, just follow along with them and place that order online. We talked about how that's really important for our makers at the moment and you get service with a smile. These guys are the best. And I just, I love your story. I love this husband wife duo. I love that it's so family inspired. So you guys are doing the right thing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having us. I am going to um, promo oh, just one more quick thing. You guys, how much fun was that? They are the best. So this is why I get so excited about working with makers here in Alexandria. And this is why I want you to know their backstory because it's always so much better than you ever could imagine. We have such incredible neighbors here in our city. Um, twice a week, nope, twice a month, I am gonna be sharing a local maker right here on Make It Alexandria with you guys at home. And then once a month, at the, usually at the end of the month, I'm gonna be doing dinner and DIY. And I just wanted to explain that it will come at the end of February, but I wanted to show you what we're gonna be working on. It's going to be um, a craft that you can do at home because I am a former teacher. I want you guys to be able to say you are a maker as well and to consider yourself one. So if you go to our website and pre-order the February DIY kit, this is everything that is going to come in the kit. And it's gonna be a wooden sign Stencils are included, everything you need with the exception of paint because I want everybody to just go crazy and do what is best for you. And then the day of, so that's at, for this month, it is Thursday the 25th. We have partnered with a local restaurant. You will go to the restaurant, you can pick up your kit and you can pick up dinner. So I've taken care of family night for you. I've taken care of, um, like getting friends together on a Zoom call and just all gathering around. So you pick up dinner, you pick up your craft kit, and then you come hang out with me and I'll walk you through it. The wonderful thing is that this is recorded and so they'll post it on Facebook. So if it's not an ideal night, do it over the weekend or at your own convenience. So once you have your kit, this is my example. I like navy, um, there we go. I like navy and gold that works for my thing. And then look, I can just put a wall, um, which works well with our February Valentine vibes, but it's gonna be something different every month. And I am already in the works for March. It's gonna be super fun as well. But you guys, I am so thankful to Taqueria Poblano and Del Rey. They are gonna be our first dinner in DIY partner and so hmm. you have to go you have to go pre-order and there will be a cutoff again because I have to get it all together <laughs> and so that Thursday you go you pick up your kit you pick up dinner and have just a wonderful little night together with your family um 
So I will post those things on the website and you'll start seeing a little bit more about that on social media as well. So love honey cakes, go check out their website, Alexander Makers Market as well. And guys, just keep following along because I'm gonna be introducing more and more makers and I'm just trying to connect them with you so that you know all the amazing things that our neighbors and friends are doing here in the city and guys, I want to make sure that you are checking out the other ZTV live shows coming up next week. We have Monday. Um, we have Steve Hoke, and he is actually going to have his guest, uh, Joe Chavira, and they're going to be honoring and paying homage to Trini Lopez. So that'll be a really special episode. And then on Tuesday, we have Reading, Writing, and Ralph, Wellness Wednesday, and then you're back with me on Thursday, and I'm going to have Maritza Maxwell from Hatch, who has led workshops for me before. Her products are in some of my boxes that we are now available on the website. And she is an amazing art educator and just one of the best. So join us next week, you guys. And in the meantime, tomorrow throughout your weekend, be the good news in somebody's life. Thank you, Zebra.